You guys ready? That's Hands up, guys. We're going in for a splash! Whoa! Whoa! Hey, we made it. We oh, flew. Wait. What do you say? You make appearances something. Okay. Yeah, we float. Are you guys just as surprised as me? <laughs> we do that to let people, if they're hanging out on the corner being sneaky. <laughs> look at that, look at that. We made it. So now we are officially in the San Francisco Harbor. As you guys can tell, it is tidal. We are at low tide right now, as you guys can see the where the watermark is at high tide. The tide usually fluctuates between six and eight feet. We have two tidal periods a day, two highs, two lows, just like my personality. And fortunately, you guys caught me on a high, so that's really good. But for the 4 o'clock tour, not so lucky. They're just going to get a lot of... And I'll probably just play Carlos Santana for about 90 minutes. Nothing wrong with Carlos, though. He's a good guy. So directly in front of us, that's the East Bay. Once we break around this corner, you guys will get some cool vistas of the Oakland. You guys are probably wondering what this hunk of garbage is off to your left. That's actually called a dry dock facility. It's abandoned right now, uh, but that gate, it would uh, drop down, it would open up, the whole thing would fill up with water, and then a ship would sail all the way inside. Once the ship was inside, they would close the gate and then pump all of the water out. They would do this so they could maintain a ship below the water line. The duck boats don't need to do that because we've got wheels and we can just drive out of the water so we can do our maintenance below the water line, but it's kind of hard to put wheels on these, whatever, 300 foot long cargo ships. Or just a little sea line, I think. He just kind of popped up to say hello. So kind of just like check your eyes left and right. You guys can see little seals popping up here. They just like to wave. Go hey, Captain Davis. We haven't seen you in a while. So the ship off to our left, that's the Cape Hudson. Uh, it's a military supply vessel, and it can throw its bow lines and get out of here in about three days. Well, it's got to fill up with all the Black Ops helicopters, army tanks, ammunition, in case it needs to go somewhere where they need tanks, ammunition, maybe they throw a couple duck boats in there. So there's Oakland right in front of us, Port of Oakland right there. They have a baseball team there that they don't really get along with the San Francisco, but it's okay. Oops. Oh, Jimmy Buffett. Come on, Jimmy Buffett. Tone it down. And I've got kind of an interesting story. We had another earthquake here in 1989. 
and it was right during Game 3 of the World Series, and it was between the San Francisco Giants and the Oakland Athletics. And it was right before the game when they had this crazy earthquake happen. It was televised. And actually, this is the Oakland Bay Bridge right here, and actually a 50-foot span of it collapsed. Do you imagine driving on the Oakland Bay Bridge and all of a sudden an earthquake and it collapses? Pretty wild. You better hope that you got a duck boat. <laughs> and then they were, and then after the the earthquake, they they called that uh, World Series the uh, Quake Series. But unfortunately, the Giants did go on to win. They lost to the Oakland Athletics. Yeah, this ship's pretty massive right here. So Oakland Bay Bridge goes all the way to Oakland. Obviously, it's close to five miles in length. And it was actually built a year before the Golden Gate. But the Golden Gate gets a little bit more credit because it's gold, I guess. Or it's fool's gold. Um, the land, the body of land in front of us, that's called the Yerba Buena Island. And there's another body of land behind.